The reason she was arrested is because apparently, allegedly, Amanda Knox's DNA was found on this huge kitchen knife. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time, my name is Ellie Arquette. I am a psychic medium, a spiritual life coach, and founder of Ellie Fit Cosmetics. I know you guys are gonna ask me what I have on, on my lips is amber. This is my own vegan, organic, cruelty-free, waterproof liquid lipsticks. If you guys are interested in my makeup and skincare, skincare, go to my website, elliearquettecosmetics.com. If you guys wanna book a session with me for mediumship, life coaching, psychic reading, go to elliearquette.com. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and let's get into today's video. So today, we're gonna to talk about Amanda Knox. Now, again, I'm not here to tell you what you should think. This is just my opinion, disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my opinion, okay? But again, uh, she's a water sign. She was born July 9th, 1987. And basically the reason I want to talk about her because I was curious. Um, now the last video that I did on this channel uh, about the brothers got me in trouble with YouTube. I cannot, I couldn't, I couldn't monetize it. It went under review for like two, three days. So I can't, I need to be really careful about what I say. There was like this new, um, terms and conditions for YouTube that, you know, content creators have to be really careful what they say. So I can't be as open as I used to be in regards to cases that I'm, that I'm, um, covering. And since this is the only way I am making an income by making these videos and having ads run on it, I can't sit here and be controversial or crazy. The last video I did was pretty crazy. I'm not going to lie but it was like almost important for me to get it out because when I see my tarot cards telling me something over and over and the same card keeps coming out, it's like really important. It was like almost like a duty to like reveal what spirit is saying. So, but I can't, I have to really watch my mouth, you guys. So there might be cases that I'm not gonna be able to cover on this, on this channel. And if I do cover, it might be a little superficial in the way that I speak about it. But anyways, I was really excited to take a look at Amanda Knox. Now, I don't know anything about this case. I'm literally going to look at the case as I'm filming this and hanging out with you guys. And then I'm going to pull some cards on it because that's what we do on this channel. If you guys are interested in the way I do these true crimes, definitely subscribe and give the video a like. You're not going to find anybody like me on YouTube. I'm a psychic medium. I cover these true cases. I look at it psychologically and then I look at it psychically. So it's like spiritual and psychological and I just kind of dissect it and I love it and I just like really love the way that I do it. Now, there might be cases from now on that I feel like I just want to talk about them. So I might put that on my vlog channel. My vlog channel is called Beauty Vlogs with Ellie. I did a video on Alec Baldwin. It's under criminal investigation right now. He's a producer. He's a creative producer of the movie, the independent movie named Rust. I did a video about that today, this morning. It's on my vlog channel. If you guys are interested in checking the Alec Baldwin, go to that channel and figure it out because I feel like some, some of these cases... It's not that important and I, I may want to just kind of cover it on my beauty vlog channel as I do my makeup and stuff like that, you know, like like the look of the day, get ready with me. So I might kind of juggle these two channels like this is going to be true crime and more serious with the cards and then maybe, you know, things that are not as serious, I'll talk about it on my vlog channel. FYI, if you guys want to, you know, see both sides of the coin, go and subscribe. Okay, so I'm literally going to take a look at this case because I ran out of time. And yesterday was a very, very strange day for me. I had like a DNA upgrade, which we'll talk about at the end of the video. Um, but basically, Amanda Marie Knox was born July 9th of 1987. She is now a, an author, an activist. She actually has a podcast 
that's all for you know it's a true crime podcast and basically she's like all um passionate about speaking in regards to wrongful um uh, sentencing. She spent almost four years in an Italian prison following a wrongful conviction, 2007 murder of her roommate Meredith uh, Kersher, a fellow exchange student with whom she shared an apartment in Pergua. I don't know how to say this. It's this really quaint, beautiful little town in, in Italy. Now, this town is notorious as it's a college town. A lot of like very successful people around the world send their kids there for you know to go to school. It's a party town and it's beautiful. So the people that live there are a little bit weary of these exchange students or students that are coming um, to their little town from across the world. So we have that situation right she was only uh, 20 years old at the time of the murder and basically what happens a little backstory and then i'm going to pull cards on it soon after she arrives in italy amanda she falls in love with this guy by the name of Raphael, and the two embark on a very romantic you know um dating thing and so she was roommates with a couple of people in this flat but a lot of times she was spending time with her uh, then boyfriend Raphael and then one night after being spending over you know spending the night over there at his house uh, she comes uh, home and she she opens the door and she sees that um, her roommate's door is closed and she sees blood in one of the bathrooms and the other bathroom she sees like feces in the toilet and basically it was really odd that it wasn't flush and then she sees blood everywhere and then she pushes the door and she can't get in so she gets kind of scared. She goes outside, outside calls her boyfriend and then she calls the police. Now the police that showed up to the crime scene were not equipped to, they're not, in, they were not investigators. It was almost like, like, um, patrol police showed up or something like that I and mean, i think there was a difference in like the level of like what the police we have here in america than in italy was like those people that are like on bicycles maybe showed up like basically the police that did show up or the patrol police that showed up were not equipped to be going to a uh, a, a crime scene so basically the, everybody walked around touched things and things like that so apparently allegedly the crime scene was was tampered because these people didn't know what they were doing now at the time when this was happening apparently amanda knox was standing outside with her boyfriend and they were just like full-on making out like she was sitting on his lap and they're just like really passionately making out and, and kissing each other and stuff like that and the people that are onlookers and the police or the other people were like kind of taken back by her behavior they thought that was really inappropriate we know that they had just met and it was like in that heavy petting stage is what you you say when you go to a catholic priest for, conf for confession you can't say oh last night i had sex with my boyfriend you have to say we were petting each other heavily like you literally can't like paint a pic did you guys know that yeah so like if you're catholic and you're going to make a confession you can't tell the priest like what you were doing you have to like you can't paint that in their mind you have to be like we were just like petting each other like literally this is what i was this is what i was taught okay so Anyway, so people kind of found that a little distasteful, a little odd. Her behavior was a little kind of tacky and cringe. Um, so that was, you know, noted by the people that were there that she's not really concerned about her roommate being murdered. So her roommate was murdered. Now, so during the police interrogation, uh, the conduct of which is a matter of a dispute, Knox allegedly implicated herself and her uh, employer and Patrick, the murderer, initially Knox and Celestia, Celestia her boyfriend, um, were all arrested for uh, Kircher's murder. But um, the other guy was soon released. In the initial trial, Knox and Celestia, the boyfriend, were convicted and sentenced for 26 to 25 years in prison respectively a known burglar at the time by the name of Rudy Good, Goody, Good, 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 I don't know how you say his name, was arrested a short time later following the discovery of his bloodstained fingerprints on Kircher's possessions and also 
there was DNA like found inside her. She was later found guilty for the murder in the fast track trial and was sentenced to a 16 year prison. As of December 4th, 2020, an Italian court ruled that Goody could complete his term during community service. So he killed and assaulted this woman, but then he can, he can uh, complete his, his long term during doing community service. I don't know what the hell goes on in other countries. It's really scary, you guys. I never want to leave United States. Like, I don't want to leave United States. If I go on vacation, I still want to be like on United States like territory. I don't know, you guys, foreign lands are kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. Everybody went nuts over this trial. Um, and basically, the reason she was arrested is because apparently, allegedly, Amanda Knox is DNA was found on this huge kitchen knife on the, on the blade, on, the, on the, the handle. And then the blade, there was the DNA from Meredith. And the, the kitchen knife belonged to Raphael, her boyfriend. Like the, ki the kitchen knife had come from his apartment and it was found at the crime scene. So there's a lot of, sorry, that's if you hear my puppy barking, she's laying in the sun on the couch. She barks from time to time. So apparently the reason she was arrested, it wasn't just like the Italian police made a mistake. They did find allegedly Amanda Knox's DNA on the kitchen knife handle and then Meredith like DNA on the blade. And the reason the boyfriend was involved is because the kitchen knife came from the boyfriend. Now, I, I don't know this case, I'm looking at it cold, you guys, I have no idea. I have not looked at the cards, I have not tapped into this psychically, but I'm just telling you sometimes I just like know ahead of time. I have a feeling psychically that Amanda Knox was involved. Now disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my opinion. From her icy blue eyes and then the other things that I'm gonna tell you guys in a minute, I just get weird vibes from her. I get sociopathic vibes from her. I get vibes from her like that she didn't give a shit that her, 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 her roommate was murdered. That's my vibe, okay, and I'm sticking to it. A guilty verdict at Knox's initial trial uh, and her 26 year sentence caused international controversy as a US forensic experts thought evidence at the crime scene was incompatible with her involvement, involvement, a prolonged legal process, including a successful prosecution appealed against her acquittal at a second level trial continued after Knox was freed in 2011. Paris, stop. Some people even assume that since nothing like that really had happened in this little town, like it's just, this is a party little college town in Italy that, like I said, affluent people send their, their kids to. This is not a kind of place where stuff like this happens. So it just, everybody started coming up with like their own like theory and some were like, oh, this was like a satanic and this was like a satanic ritual. So everybody was like, you know, going crazy over this case. Okay, so that's basically the, 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 the gist of it, okay? So these are the things that I heard I don't know, again, disclaimer, if this is true or not, but these are the things that I heard when I was investigating and kind of researching the, the case just like really briefly because I didn't have time and yesterday I had a video, I had like a meltdown. Yesterday I had a nervous breakdown, which I guess I should talk about it really, really quickly. So yesterday I was like freaking out. And I, I didn't know what the hell was wrong with me. I couldn't do my vlog. I couldn't do my terror messages for my, my, my third channel. I couldn't, I was waiting for my video to be uh, allowed to be published, which it, got demonetized and later on i found out through meditation and talking to my elders and that it was like a dna upgrade and a lot of the light workers star seeds such as myself are we're just upgrading and we're i was detoxing yesterday energetically and like really releasing a lot of energy so if you're experiencing that it's normal just let yourself kind of feel it get rid of the emotions it's like really um healing for you and and then you know light a white candle and meditate and just like open yourself up to what the universe and spirit wants to bring in if you guys are light workers star seeds psychic mediums that watch my channel i just want to share that with you because sometimes when these things happen even i'm lost at a word like what is happening and then i realize you know what's happening like spiritually speaking because we're not normal and we're here to like help people on this planet i wasn't really i couldn't really 
research too much on this because I just was like really burnt out and I didn't feel like it. So, but the little bit of the clips that I watched here and there is basically the way Amanda Knox behaved um, during this time was, it was kind of really cold and uncalled, uncalled for. Even if you weren't close to this person, even if you didn't like your roommate, this is like a human being that was murdered. And I thought, you know, everybody thought that this was really tacky and a little bit sociopathic, psych psychopathic, the way she was beha behaving. So basically she, she had, you know, tweeted or said things like that. Oh my God, I'm so hungry right now. I could totally murder a pizza quote um but I guess that's inappropriate for me to say like it's just like a little too close you know um and that you were involved with a murder case and you were sentenced it's just like it's too much and apparently she came across as really cold very distant also when you see clips and photos and video like footage of her in the court she's like smiling a lot and just like it was all it's like I don't know she came across as just like she enjoyed the attention now she's a cancer sign uh so i don't know you guys just something kind of off about her now there's a lot of theories out there that she was somehow involved um that she was a party girl she had even given herself like a nickname like um foxy toxy or whatever she had given her name i don't even know so was she involved did she have anything to do with meredith kersher's murder now she was already acquitted so this these are all just alleged theories and feelings and opinions regarding this case okay so obviously i'm going to take a look at it right now and just see what's what what's what wants to come to me energetically um so thank you spirit i'm just basically just curious just curious about this little lady yeah just something about her eyes her icy blue eyes very disconnected almost sociopathic uh the smile and the kind of th saying things that are inappropriate behaving in an inappropriate way like making out with her boyfriend like outside the house at the apartment when in, when the police was coming to investigate the murder case it was just and then at the police station apparently she did the same thing she was doing splits allegedly this is what i heard she was doing splits and cartwheels and just like singing and dancing and and then making out with her boyfriend just like weird just like odd like at least pretend that you're upset about your 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 uh roommate being murdered something man something thank you spirit thank you spirit can you guys just show me what the hell is going on with this lady Amanda Knox, Amanda Knox. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Spirit. Amanda Knox, what does Spirit wants to say to me about regarding Amanda Knox? Amanda Knox. Wow. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. This is just my opinion. So the Two of Wands and the Two of Pentacles showed up. The Two Two is giving me a feeling like she was involved. Um, she's coming across as she was very, very carefree. She was young, she was only 20 years old or 21 years old. The tutu is giving me weird vibes, like there was involvement. There was two people that they were involved. There were two people that were involved. Like I know they arrested the person that had actual DNA inside. Meredith Kersher would like later on, you know, there was like they found out there was like this this guy that did it and stuff, right? Then we have the five of wands. Now, I think something went down inside this apartment, and they pin it on one person, but there's more involvement. So there's five people. So initially, there were five people involved, and then it went it went down to two. Okay. Let me see what else wants to show me. So Amanda Knox's case for Meredith, Meredith Kersher. What does Spirit wants to show me? Seven of Cups. I think that they were partying. Now, again, this little town in Italy is known for drugs, alcohol, parties, that's what it's known for, okay? Thank you, Spirit. 
Anything else for Amanda Knox and Meredith? Amanda Knox and Meredith. Okay, so these cards are falling. And since I'm sitting here, they're falling to the ground. So she was in a relationship with this guy. The Ten of Cups came out. We have the Hangman. They got, they got entangled with this craziness. The Knox. Amanda Knox. Seven of Wands, Ace of Cups. You guys, um, the Ace of Cups came out and the Lover's card came out. The Lord and the Lady in this deck is the Lover's card. This has a soap opera vibe to it, like something in regards to like love, passion, sex, or something like that, like almost like a, like a jealousy thing. Like did Amanda Knox get jealous of her roommate, Meredith Kersher? Was, was, did something happen? There, it, it, it's, like a, it's like a soap opera energy that I'm picking up. Anything else? Ten of Pentacles. I don't know why this is coming to me. I don't know if I'm right on this or if I'm wrong. Basically, first of all, she made a lot of money. She is now, I think her net worth is something like $500,000 or like a million dollars or like that. She became an author. She became famous. She has a podcast. She's, an, she's a journalist. Um, did she do this? Because I got the star card. And the star card is like, you know, you're a star, right? Like you stand out and, you know, you're in, you're in the arts or you're, in, you know, you're an actress or a television personality. Something like that is coming to me. That's what I'm picking up. I don't know, you guys. I feel like, yeah, the court system came out here. We're looking at the justice card, the standing stone. Uh, let me just clarify this. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Did Amanda Knox, was she involved in this murder case to be able to make money, to be able to somehow, like she didn't actually do it, she didn't physically commit the crime, but was she involved somehow to benefit from it? She comes from a very, very intelligent family, middle-class family, um, and she has like stepsisters and things like that. I don't know why I pick up sociopath from her, like psycho, sociopath, like psychopathy is what I'm picking up from her. So Amanda Knox, Amanda Knox, did she want to be involved somehow? Did she create a scenario where maybe she got convicted wrongfully, but she was going to make something out of that for her life? Does that make sense? Am I, am I insane right now? Am I insane? I don't know. Let me know in the comment box down below if I'm insane. Amanda Knox. Did she want to become a star? A card just fell to the ground. Did she want to become a star? Did she want to make money from this? Because I got the Ten of Pentacles. She made a lot of money from this situation. She wrote a book. She became a journalist. She has a podcast. She's a well-known. She's got interviews. She got paid for interviews. You guys, bad publicity is still publicity. Did she do... She's involved somehow because her DNA is on the knife's handle and then Meredith blood is on the blade and the knife belongs to the boyfriend's kitchen. That's the knife that used to be, how did the knife, how did a kitchen knife from her boyfriend's house, apartment, ended up in the crime scene with DNA on it? You can't, you know, that, that is a fact. I'm not making that up. That is actually a fact. So did she have some sort of a, involvement in this she probably did in some shape or form so spirit did she do this for money did she did she know she was gonna be able to make money from this like she was gonna set her life up she was gonna set she was trying to set her life up was this for money was this about money was this about money or did she just get lucky was this one of those things that it kind of sucked, but then, you know, she's made a million dollars out of it. It's not too shabby. She was going to school, right? You guys.
I keep getting the fives here. So five people involved, five of cups, five of wands, five of swords. The five of swords with this guy holding this knife in his hand. And they look Italian, by the way. Like, look at this. Look, he's holding the knife. Look at the Italian. I don't know if I'm insane or I'm just jumping to conclusion if I'm losing my mind because my DNA is upgrading. I don't know what the hell is wrong with me today. I don't know, but I feel like she's involved in, sh in some shape or form. She made money from it. It's a little bit of like a jealousy, like a soap opera jealousy. Like you look at my boyfriend or my boyfriend's attracted to you or you flirted with my boyfriend and I'm going to get you killed. Allegedly, this is just my opinion. I don't know. I keep getting this card. You guys, I keep getting this card. I keep, I keep getting this card. This to me talks about people getting together, gossiping, planning, trying to figure out a strategy to do something. That's what this card is telling me right now in this situation. You, see, you guys see this? Look. That's what I'm thinking. This is what's coming to me. And I think that it, I, okay, okay. So this is what I think. Allegedly, this is just my opinion. This is just my opinion, so don't freak out, okay? Don't come for me, YouTube, all right? Basically, I think that it has something to do with, like, the Lover's card came out, the Ace of Cups came out, the Relationship card came out. I think that um, Amanda Knox, being a Cancer sign, being a Water sign, being a little cray-cray in the brain, got jealous of her roommate. Her roommate is beautiful, uh, Meredith. Her roommate was beautiful, Meredith Kirshner, beautiful brunette, super pretty girl. And I think that Amanda got jealous of her. This is just my opinion. Something happened and I think that there was like getting together, maybe there was drugs involved, alcohol involved, and things got out of hand. She didn't, she didn't do anything. I don't think she actually did the deed, but I think she's involved in it. That's what I think. I'm still not satisfied. I'm gonna to have to pull some more cards out. Amanda Knox's case on the Meredith Kirshner murder. Please just give me some couple of more cards in regarding regarding this case. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, that card just fell out. Meredith Kirshner. Okay, the cards that fell out. The Justice card, the Five of Cups again, the Lover's card, the Nine of Swords, the Ace of Cups, the Moon card, and yeah, okay. I think I, 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 it's, I'm getting a better interpretation of what's happening. Okay. Like I said that there was this, the Lovers, which is Amanda and Raphael. They were newly just in this relationship, very passionate, very sexual, and they were really into each other, and they were really like, you know, maybe she became very possessive or jealous if he was going to look at other girls or something like that. Then we have this whole plotting thing. Now, I don't think Amanda wanted to get in trouble with the law. It's literally coming out. I don't think she wanted to get in trouble with the law. It, she wanted to do something to her maybe, but she wasn't really expecting that she was going to get in trouble because there was not enough evidence, but they still convicted her. Um, and then the moon card is suggesting things that are hidden that we still don't know about. We have the Holy King here. This is the Hermit card uh, that they were, she was separated from her boyfriend. Her boyfriend uh, is still in jail, actually. I think Raphael is still in jail. Um, the other card that came out is the Four of Wands. They had plans to be together, but she ended up getting married. Yeah, that's, that's what this is. Amanda ended up getting married to someone else. I think the guy is a journalist too and they have this true crime podcast together. So basically that's what happened. I don't think she meant for it to go where it went, but it did. It was kind of a planned strategy thing. And I think it was like a jealousy thing, you guys. I think this was like a soap opera jealousy. Like this girl got jealous of her, boy, of her girlfriend, maybe flirting with the boyfriend. There was drugs and alcohol involved. There was like something... Something came across very loopy. Something came across kind of weird about Amanda's behavior. Almost like maybe she was on drugs. Maybe she, maybe she drank too much. I don't know. Something just didn't seem 
like a sober, a normal person would behave that way. And if she wasn't under the influence of drugs and alcohol, then she's like a sociopath. So anyways, that's what I think about the case, that it was like a jealousy, lover's thing, like don't look at my boyfriend, don't touch my boyfriend, don't flirt with my boyfriend, I'm gonna kill you. And then there was like, like this plot, and then it actually took place, and then when it happened, they were like, she was like, well, I'm not going to be involved. I'm not going to be inflicted. But then she was, you know, she was convicted. And, but at the same time, she's made a lot of money. She has a name. She's made a name for her, for herself, even though it's like, if it's negative, it's still, she's made a name about for herself. And hence I, I'm making a video about it. Okay. So that's what I think about it. But definitely you guys let me know in the comment box down below what you guys think. I don't know if I've lost my mind with this DNA upgrade, like I said earlier. I don't know if I'm right about this, but that's what my gut feeling is telling me and my psychic eyes are telling me that's what happened. She comes across as almost like she can disconnect like her, like something about her eyes are really creepy. Like her eyes just come across as like really icy, very cold, like the knife, like, you know, when a knife is like really, really like sharpened, that's what I think about Amanda Knox's eyes. They're just creepy as fuck, okay? Like I said, don't cross water signs, you guys. Whatever you do, if they introduce you to their boyfriend, don't flirt with their boyfriend. If they introduce you to their girlfriend, don't flirt with their girlfriend. Just stay away. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the content. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.